हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू प्रथम टेस्ट प्रेप आई एम आशीष भार्गव एंड ये आपका सेशन है वीकली करंट अफेयर्स को दिस इज आर न्यू इनिशिएटिव एंड द पर्पस इज टू कंडक्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ सेशन इज टू दैट दैट यू विल बी अवेयर अबाउट लाइक व्हाट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट इज पॉसिबल टू आस्क एंड वन मोर थिंग दैट इज वी कैन से कि आपके एग्जाम में जो भी क्वेश्चन होंगे सो यू वुड बी एबल टू नो दैट वट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड द मोर द बेस्ट थिंग इज दैट कि आप उसको रिवाइज कर पाएंगे तो वट यू विल रिवाइज ऑल द कॉन्टेंट विद द हेल्प ऑफ मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन सो माई नेम इज आशीष भार्गव एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एज वेल एंड डू नॉट फर्गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑल आर प्रथम टेस्ट प्रेपमेंटर्स एंड आई होप यू गाइज आर डूइंग वेल आप सारे अच्छे होंगे स्वस्थ होंगे एंड चलो ये हमारा वीकली करंट अफेयर्स सो रिवाइज इंटायर वीक न्यूज़ इसमें आपको इकोनॉमी फाइनेंस स्पोर्ट्स अपॉइंटमेंट अवार्ड गवर्नमेंट स्कीम एंड मोर पूरे सेवन डेज में जो भी आपके करंट अफेयर्स के वीकली करंट अफेयर्स के न्यूज़ थे दैट वी हैव सेग्रीडेटेड नॉट इन द ईच एंड एवरी पार्ट द पर्पज इज टू कंडक्ट द क्लास दैट यू विल रिवाइज ऑल द कॉन्टेंट विच इज़ वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू गाइज एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इन द लाइव क्लास एंड सॉल्व करने के लिए लाइव क्लास में मेक श्योर आप जब आप सब्सक्राइब करेंगे तो आपको ट्वेंटी सेकेंड के बाद आपको इसमें लाइव क्लास में आप चैट कर सकते हो सो एंड दिस इज़ द एलिमिनेशन मेथड एलिमिनेशन मेथड विच मीन्स दैट कि जो भी आपके ऑप्शन होंगे मेक श्योर जस्ट ट्राई टू एलिमिनेट एज मेनी ऑप्शन एज यू कैन यूजिंग योर प्री एग्जिस्टिंग नॉलेज एंड इफ़ यू एलिमिनेट वन यू हैव थर्टी थ्री परसेंट चांस ऑफ गेटिंग इट करेक्ट इफ यू एलिमिनेट टू यू हैव फिफ्टी परसेंट चांस टू गेटिंग इट करेक्ट इफ यू एलिमिनेट थ्री यू हैव हंड्रेड परसेंट चांस ऑफ गेटिंग इट करेक्ट सो जस्ट ट्राई टू एलिमिनेट वन ऑप्शन एट लीस्ट एंड देन अटेम्प इट एट एनी कॉज सो ट्राई टू सॉल्व मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन एंड यू नो दैट प्रैक्टिस मेक्स अ मैन परफेक्ट एंड हियर इज द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विथ रेफरेंस टू इंडिया द टर्म्स कोली पदारी एंड पहाड़ी पर्टेंस टू दिस वॉज इन द न्यूज सो देर वर द फोर ऑप्शन डांस फॉर्म नॉर्थ वेस्ट इंडिया म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एंड प्री हिस्टोरिक के पेंटिंग एंड इंडिजिनस ट्राइबल ग्रुप so there was a news that the four tribes there are there are three tribes that were demanding to be in the scheduled tribe area scheduled tribe mein count hone ke liye ye uh, government se inhone kya kiya tha protest kiya tha uske liye isme aapko mention karna hai the right answer is this was indigenous tribal group and the government has introduced the constitution jammu and kashmir scheduled tribes order amendment bill 2020 Lok Sabha may to include four communities in the, in the list of scheduled tribe list in Jammu and Kashmir, and the four communities proposed to scheduled caste, scheduled tribe status as Gadda, Brahmin, Koli, Padari tribe, and Pahari ethnic group. Next one. Which one of the following statements about lithium is true? Statement one. Lithium is the heaviest element in the periodic table. Lithium is commonly used in the production of nuclear weapons. Lithium is an is essential minerals for the human body and lithium is uh, the highly reactive metal that easily catches fire in air. Tanu Mehta the option D uh, okay is highly reactive. ओके सो डी इज द एब्सोटली करेक्ट तनु एंड डी इज का राइट आंसर है इट इज अ सॉफ्ट सिल्वरी वाइट मेटल अंडर स्टैंडर्ड कंडीशन इट इज द लाइटेस्ट मेटल एंड द लाइटेस्ट सॉलिड एलिमेंट इट इज हाईली रिएक्टिव एंड फ्लेमेबल एंड मस्ट बी स्टोर इन द मिनरल ऑयल कंट्री विथ लार्जेस्ट रिजर्व जो आपको लिथियम के पास है विच इज चिले एंड देन ऑस्ट्रेलिया एंड देन अर्जेंटीना लिथियम ट्राइंगल एंड कंट्री विथ में चेर चिले अर्जेंटीना एंड बोलीविया एंड द रिसेंटली जियोलॉजिकल सॉफ्टवे ऑफ इंडिया जिसके हेडकोर्टर्स कहाँ पे है कैलकाटा में है जियोलॉजिकल सॉफ्टवे ऑफ इंडिया के हैज अ फर्स्ट टाइम स्टैब्लिश लिथियम एंड फर्ड रिसोर्स ऑफ अबाउट सिक्स मिलियन टनस ऑफ सलल हिमालयन हाइमाना एरिया ऑफ यू टी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड लिथियम रिजर्व वर ऑल्सो डिस्कवर्ड बाई रेवन थिल ऑफ दिगाना इन राजस्थान नगौर डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन कर्नाटका मध्य प्रदेश अगर बात करें नगौर डिस्ट्रिक्ट को इज वॉज द फर्स्ट डिस्ट्रिक्ट विच वॉज इम्प्लीमेंटेड पंचायती राज सिस्टम पंचायती राज सिस्टम इसी डिस्ट्रिक्ट ने सबसे पहले इंप्लीमेंट की थी नगौर डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन राजस्थान देखो जो भी एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन होती है वो जानना इज इंपॉर्टेंट कई बार आपको एग्जाम में नॉट श्योर कि आपके एग्जाम में डायरेक्ट ये क्वेश्चन आ जाए बट द 
एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन विल हेल्प यू आउट सपोज सपोज आपके एग्जाम आ गया लिथियम ट्रायंगल के बारे में लिथियम ट्रायंगल क्या है एंड द लार्जेस्ट रिजर्व किस कंट्री के पास है सो यू मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट कि ये होने चाहिए ठीक है नेक्स्ट वन द क्यूरिल आइलैंड डिस्प्यूट्स इज समाइम्स मैंशन इन द न्यू न्यूज इन द कॉन्टेक्सट in in the context of affairs of india and sri lanka taiwan and china south korea and north korea russia and japan the kuril island dispute that was in sometimes mentioned in the news in the context in the affairs of again uh, the numeta option d uh, russia and japan is the correct answer d is the right answer well done Tanu and D is the right answer. The Kuril Island disputes, uh, Russia and Japan has gained attention amid the ongoing conflict between Russia and uh, Ukraine, and the Kuril Island dispute, known as Northern Territories dispute in Japan, and is a territorial dispute between Japan and Russia over the ownership of the four southernmost southernmost Kuril Island. And this jo island is a volcanic archipelago administered as a part of Sakhalin Oblast in the Russian Far East. Next, the in July 2023, the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare launched three technological initiative: YesTech, Winds Portal, AID, mobile app under the Dash scheme, and reconstructed weather-based crop insurance scheme. And what was the scheme name? Pradhan Mantri Kisan Man Dhan Yojana, Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sichai Yojana. प्रधानमंत्री फसल बीमा योजना एंड एंड प्रधानमंत्री किसान सम्मान निधि स्कीम एंड ऑप्शन बी प्रधानमंत्री कृषि सिंचाई योजना ओके सो C is the right answer. This was the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana. On 21st July 2023, the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare launched three technological initiatives under the Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bima Yojana and Reconstructive Weather-Based Crop Insurance Schemes (RWBCIS) to empower farmers and streamline their operation in New Delhi. And also, our Jamaat of Union Agriculture Minister Narendra Singh Tomar and Union Ministers. For Earth Sign Kiran Rajju, they launched a new initiative including YesTech, which is yield estimation system based on technology, manual information network data system, winds portal, and AID Sahayak mobile app to provide farmers with accurate weather data yield estimates. Chalo, next pe dekhe. Chandrayaan three mission has been launched, and who is the project director of the mission? K Sivan S Somnath. P. Uh, Vira Muthuval and C. Venu Gopal. They would do not try to lose your confidence if you are incorrect attempt. So, कई बार होता है एग्जाम में कि आप से अगर क्वेश्चंस गलत होते हैं तो हमारा एक अंदर से कॉन्फिडेंस जो होता है वो खराब होता है एंड वी फील कि यार ये ना मतलब ऐसा हो जाएगा वैसा हो जाएगा मेरे से हो नहीं पा रहा है दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो मेक श्योर जो आपको इसमें जो क्वेश्चन होंगे वो हमेशा A question say that will not somebody determine your quality and similarly that कि इसमें अगर एक बार एक क्वेश्चन गलत होते हैं तो उसको अटैम्प्ट करना मत बोलो सो so, यहाँ पे बताओ कि इसमें क्या आंसर होने चाहिए इसके प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर कौन है इसका राइट right आंसर है ऑप्शन सी पी वीरा मुथवल ये हमारे प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टर हैं चंद्रयान थ्री के इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने सक्सेसफुली लॉन्च किया इंडिया का थर्ड मून मिशन Chandrayaan 3 and it was launched from the launch vehicle LMV3 from the Satish Dhawan Space Center. P. Vira Muthuval is the project director of Chandrayaan 3 spacecraft and its mission of the soft landing on the moon, and he was also involved in the Chandrayaan 2 mission in 2019. Name the company that has recently, in July 23, signed an MOU with India AI to foster. Collaboration in the field of artificial intelligence and emerging technologies. IBM, Google, Microsoft, and Meta India.
सो द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी मेटा इंडिया जुलाई 26, 2023 को इंडिया ए आई एंड मेटा इंडिया साइन एंड मेमोरेंडम ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग टू फोस्टर कोलाबोरेशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड इमर्जिंग टेक्नोलॉजीज इंडिया ए आई एज एन इंडिपेंडेंट बिजनेस यूनिट अंडर डिजिटल इंडिया कॉपोरेशन ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड द पार्टनरशिप विल प्रमोट सोशल इंक्लूजन इनहेंस गवर्नमेंट सर्विस डिलीवरी एंड ड्राइव इनोवेशन यूजिंग लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल जेनरेटिव ए आई कॉग्नेटिव सिस्टम एंड ट्रांसलेशन मॉडल्स इन जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री दाश बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडियन सिटी टू बी पार्ट ऑफ वर्ल्ड सिटीज कल्चरल फॉरम डब्ल्यू सी सी एफ अहमदाबाद गुजरात न्यू डेली इंडिया बैंगलुरु कर्नाटका एंड चेन्नई तमिलनाडु The right answer is Bangalore, the capital of Karnataka, became the first Indian city to be a part of World Cities Cultural Forum. Cultural Forum, WCCF, a global network of cities that share research and intelligence to explore the role of culture in future prosperity. And jo Bangalore hai, that became the 40th city to join the forum and network. Currently includes 40 cities across six con- continents, and the forum includes like New York. London, Paris, Tokyo, uh, Tokyo and Dubai. Who has been recently in July 2023 named as caretaker prime minister of Spain? Adolfo Suarez, Jose Maria Aznar, Mariana Rajoy and Pedro Sanchez. So the right answer is Pedro Sanchez. D answer, yeah. So Pedro Sanchez, General Secretary of Spanish Socialist Workers Party, Spanish Academy PSO, it was formally named named as caretaker Prime Minister of Spain, and the interim government will remain in power until a resolution is reached for the political uncertainty that emerged from the. in conclusive elections held on 23rd july 2023 and pedro sanchez has been seventh pm of spain officially president of government of spain since 2018 who has recently in july 2023 became india's 83rd chess grandmaster gm by earning his third gm norm in ninth round of bill chess festival Master Tournament 2023 held in Switzerland. Aditya S. Samant and Bupala Pranith, Santam Das and Vignesh N. R. So on 26th July 2023, Aditya S. Samat, an international master, became India's 83rd chess grandmaster GM by earning his third GM norms against Aryan Chopra in ninth round of Bell Chess Festival Master Tournament in Switzerland. In which city Prime Minister Narendra Modi had recently, in July 2023, inaugurated a futuristic? International Exhibition Come Convention Center (IECC) complex, Bharat Mandapam, to host the G20 leaders meeting.
बांगलुरु न्यू डेली गांधीनगर नोएडा उत्तर प्रदेश So on 26 July, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated a futuristic international exhibition come convention center, the revamp India Trade Promotional Organization Complex and uh, ITPO Complex also known as Pragati Maidan Complex and also unveiled the G20 group of 20 coin and stamp at Pragati Maidan in New Delhi. The IECC complex has been named Bharat Mandapam and the naming ceremony of the center uh, was carried out using a drone. Which company had recently, in July 23, launched Money Saver Export account for Indian exporters to save 50% on overseas bank transfer? Phone Pay, Reserve Pay, Paytm, and Bharat Pay. So we have four options is there. Here. So in that case, we need to find like which option is appropriate. So Phone Pay, Reserve Pay, Paytm, and Bharat Pay. So. So the right answer is here, 26 July 2023, Razor Pay, a fintech company announced the launch of Money Saver Export account built specifically for a small and mid-sized exporters by offering up to 50% savings on international bank transfer for the Indian exporters and the facility allows exporters to open an account in any country of their choice over 160 countries. Next question is to asking about who has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to Lithuania. Alok Sinha, Devesh Uttam, Shweta Anand and Rajiv Kumar. So the right answer is Devesh Uttam B is the right answer. Devesh Uttam is the right answer. So the Ministry of External Affairs has appointed Indian diplomat Devesh Uttam as the next ambassador of India to Lithuania and Devesh Uttam is an Indian Foreign Service Officer of the year 2003 and Devesh Uttam is currently working as a Joint Secretary in the Ministry of External Affairs. Shalom. Next one jo hai wo pucha IPCC. Who has recently elected as the new chair of Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change (IPCC)? Rajendra K. Pachauri, Robert Watson, United States of America, Wen Sang Lee, South Korea, and James Fregranski, United Kingdom. So the right answer is option D, James Fregionski, United Kingdom. On 26 July 2023, James Fregionski of the United Kingdom was elected as a new chair of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and Intergovernmental Body of United Nations that works to advance scientific knowledge about climate change caused by human activities. Or the election tha that was held at the United Nations Environmental Programs Headquarters Campus in Nairobi, Kenya. Mein. What was the theme of World's Hepatitis Day, World WHD 2023, that was observed across the globe on 28 July 2023 by the World Health Organization? One life, one liver, bringing hepatitis care closer to you. Hepatitis can't wait and hepatitis free future. So it was one life, one liver. A is the right answer. Bilkul sahi hai. The World Health Organization, World Hepatitis Day 
2023 was observed across the globe on 28 July 2023 with the theme of One Life, One Liver. So we are not waiting is the campaign theme of WHD 2023 and the first WHO jo hai, wo observed kya 28 July 2011 and hepatitis is an inflation of the liver, inflammation of the liver of one caused by a viral infection. Five main strains of hepatitis A, B, C, D and E are responsible for the majority of cases but they are different in important ways including modes of transmission. Chalo, next one. In the state, mein, President Draupadi Murmu ne recently laid the foundation stone for the divine lighthouse of Prajapita Brahma Kumari's Ishwarya Vishwa Vidyalaya, PBKIVB, Odisha, West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra. So, on 27 July 23, President Draupadi Murmuru laid the foundation stone for the Divine Lighthouse of Prajapita Brahmakumari's Ishwari Vishwavidyalai at Desibatya Tomando Bhuvaneshwar, Odisha during the third day visit to Odisha from July 25 to 27, 2023. And President ne launched the 23 theme of PVKIV, the year of positive change for conducting national seminar and conferences. Next one asking about name the bank that has recently in July 2023 launched by Reserve Bank of India in the list of scheduled bank under schedule second of RBI Act 1934. Mizuho Bank Japan, Nonghai Bank South Korea, Suncorp Bank United Kingdom and Commonwealth Bank Australia. So it was B is the right answer. Reserve Bank of India released a notification addressing the bank regarding the inclusion of Nong Hai Bank in the second schedule to the Reserve Bank of India Act 1934. As per the RBI notification, Nong Hai Bank has been officially included in the second schedule of the RBI Act 1934 and published in the Gazette of India, Part 3, Section 4. Name the company that has recently in July 23 signed an, an MOU with Indian Railway Finance Corporation IRFC to collaborate, develop rail infrastructure project, Rights Limited, Railtel Corporation of India Limited, Rail Vikas Nigam Limited and Engineers India Limited. So, Rights Limited, formerly known as Rail India Technical and Ec Economic Service Limited, uh, Minratna category and Schedule A of Central Bank Service Enterprises under the Ministry of Railway. 
signed a memorandum of understanding MOU with Indian Railway Finance Corporation to explore possibilities of mutual collaboration in railway ecosystem and the transport infrastructure sector. It was the world largest commercial communication satellite that was recently in July 2023 launched by the Space Exploration Technology Corporation SpaceX Falcon Heavy Rocket, Crew Dragon Mission, Hughes Jupiter 3 Mission, Axiom Mission 1 and Raza SAT Mission. So which one would be the right answer? Make sure that uh, you need to find it out which would be the possible answer. Do not try to skip because as you know that in this year more than 555 questions were incorrect by the NTA but the students who were appeared in that questions would correct would got correct correct mark right so try to attempt the questions think about like what could be the possible answer So B is the right answer, Jupiter 3 mission. On 28 July 2023, Space Exploration Technology Cooperation, SpaceX Falcon, Falcon Heavy rocket launched by Hughes' Jupiter 3 mission, the world largest commercial communication satellite to geosynchronous transfer orbit GTO and former launch complex 39A. External Affairs Minister S. J. Shankar has nominated from which state for the upcoming Rajya Sabha elections? Uttar Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat and Kerala. So, C is the right answer. On July 2023, Dash became the largest PSU refinery single location in India for 2022 and 2023. So right answer was Mangalore Refinery and Petrochemical Limited. Mangalore Refinery and Petrochemical Limited or Mangalore Dakshin Kannada Karnataka based Mindratra Central Public Sector Enterprises has, and it has become the largest PSU refinery single location in India for 2022 or 2023. Which payment bank had recently approved the proposal for the transitions of the bank into a small finance bank SFB license, Airtel Payment Bank and Paytm Payment Banks, Fino Payment Bank and Geo Payment Bank. So C is the right answer, Fino Payment Bank. 28 July 2003, the board of Fino Payment Bank Limited, a fully owned subsidiary of Fino Payment Limited approved the proposal for the transition of the bank into a small fina finance bank license. The board has also formed a committee to explore the possibility of group corporate and restructuring and evaluate the implications and other consideration. The bank received a letter from the holding company Finopatech regarding group of corporate structuring proposal. Next one is asking, Lord Hanuman has been declared as the official mascot of which championship? Asian Athletic Championship, Cricket, Asia Cup, 
डेविस एंड वर्ल्ड एथलेटिक्स चैंपियनशिप So the right answer is Asian Athletics Championship. A is the right answer. Asian Athletics Championship. Lord Hanuman has been declared as the official mascot of this one. Lord Hanuman has been announced as the official mascot of Asian Athletic Championship it was being organized in 50th anniversary of the establishment of Asian Athletics Federation and your logo tha aapka 25th Asian Athletics Championship ka depicts the dedication and sportsmanship displayed by the athletics participating in the games Name the company that has recently become the first member from India to join Asia Transition Finance Study Group. So D is the right answer. Power Finance Corporation Limited. Power Finance Corporation Limited, a Maharashtra Central Public Sector undertaking under the Ministry of Power, a leading non-banking financial corporation in India, became the first member from India to join the Asia Transition Finance Study Group, an initiative by Japanese Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry for promoting sustainable transition finance for Asian countries. And this was announced. During the bilateral ministerial meeting between Rajkumar Singh, Union Ministry of Power, and New and Renewable Energy. Next one uh, question is: Name the sports personality who has recently, in July 23, won the Formula F1 MSc Cruise Belgian Grand Prix 2023. C is the right answer. When was the United Nations World Day Against Trafficking in Persons 2023 observed across the globe? 27 July, 34 July, 28 July, and 30th of July. So United Nations. World's Day Against Trafficking in Persons 2023 was observed on 30th July 2023 to raise awareness about the situation of human trafficking victim and to promote the protect their rights. The 2023 campaign theme of World Day Against Trafficking in Persons is reach every victim of trafficking and leave no one behind. The first ever World Day Against Trafficking in Persons was observe on 30th july 2014 name the company that has recently introduced a two uh, two new cutting edge payment device the pocket sound box and music sound box and the right answer is paytm July 31st 23 Paytm on 1997 Communication Limited OCL 
introduced two new cutting edge payment devices the Paytm Pocket Sound Box and Paytm Music Sound Box. Both devices are equipped with the 4G capabilities, providing enhancement convenience for on the go merchants. About Paytm Pocket Sound Box, it is the first of its kind made in India. Portable device as small as a debit card to empower on the go merchants with instant audio payment alerts. And this easy to carry device has all the features of Payment Sound Box. About Paytm Music Sound Box, it is a unique device that allows merchants to play music from their mobile phones via Bluetooth while managing payment transactions. And it serves both as a speaker for payment notification and the Bluetooth music player. Who has recently elected as a board of directors and a constituency director of BRIC, New Development Bank, and DB? Answer is Trivia Hamid El Sami. In which country the first IIT campus outside India will be set up? Indian Institute of Technology, Kenya, South Africa, Egypt, and Tanzania. Recently, it was a news and we had covered in the newspaper analysis. So, it was Tanzania, India, and Tanzania have signed a memorandum of understanding with setting up a new campus in IIT Madras. It is the first IIT campus to be established outside India and Union Minister of Education and Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Dharmendra Pradhan has described the decision as historic. Tanzania is the East African country's capitalist Duduma. In July 2023, England cricketer announced his retirement from all forms of cricket while Moin Ali confirmed his test cricket retirement after the end of Ashes Test Series. So C is the right answer. Stuart Christopher John Broad, 37 years old England cricketer Stuart Christopher John Broad announced his retirement from all forms of cricket on 29th July 2023. All forms of cricket which means test match and one day also during the midway of England vs Australia 5th Ashes test at the Oval Stadium London United Kingdom. Who authored the book? Kargil Ek Yatra Ki Jivani that was released by the Union Minister of State for Defense of India Ajay Bhatt in July 2003. Rishi Das, Indramit Das, Anilakandam and Durjoy Datta. So on 23rd July, Ajay Bhatt, Minister of State, Ministry of Defense, released the book and illustration titled Kargil Ek Yatra Ki Jivani, Hindi edition authored by Rishi Das at the Constitution Club of India, New Delhi. And the book which pays tribute to Martyrs of Kargil Wars that was published by Prabhat Prakashan. Which are the most peaceful country in the world according to the Global Peace Index 2023? Denmark, Ireland, New Zealand and Iceland. Mm -hmm. So obvious, Iceland recently Global Peace Index <coughs> has been released and under this the ranking of 163 countries of the world has been prepared and according to this ranking Iceland is the most peaceful country in the world. The data is for the year 2022 has been included in this year. And uh, which country has become the new permanent member of Shanghai Cooperation Organization which is called SCO. Obvious, the answer would be here. Iran is the right answer. Yes, Iran has formally become a full member of Shanghai Cooperation Organization. And PM Modi, uh, while presiding over the SCO summit on Tuesday, extended his best wishes to Iran. So, now we have eight members of SCO. China, Russia, India, Pakistan, four Central Asian countries, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan. And this Shanghai Cooperation Organization it was formed in the year 2001 with six members country and India become its member in the year of 2017. 
which state government had recently collaborated with the United Nations Population Fund to launch Just Ask Artificial Intelligence Enable Chatbot for Adolescent Young Adults on Sexual, sexual and Reproductive Health and Rights Andhra Pradesh, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra So the answer is Madhya Pradesh UNFPNA, formerly known as United Nations Fund for Population Activities in collaboration with National Health Mission, Department of Public Health and Family Welfare, Government of Madhya Pradesh launched an artificial intelligence enabled chatbot called Just Ask Kulke Pucho in Hindi for adolescent and young adults 15 29 years in India to explore information and become aware of issues related to sexual and reproductive health and rights. In July 23, the Supreme Court of India introduced new guidelines and the new guidelines prescribe a minimum age of dash for applying for the senior advocate de de designation and minimum of 10 years of starting mainly in Supreme Court. Right answer is 45 years is right answer. Under whose Chairmanship is the 23rd Summit of Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Our best answer would be here India. Name the fintech company that has recently collaborated with the National Payment Corporation of India NPCI to introduce rupee credit card based unified payment interface payments, credit, phone pay, reserve pay, and Paytm. A is the right answer. Cred of Bangladesh, Karnataka based fintech company in collaboration with the National Payment Corporation of India, NPCI introduced rupee credit card based unified payments interface payment for cred members. Multiple payments option for UPI will be now available for the cred members such as linking their rupee credit card peer to peer, scan and pay, and paying online merchants. And the, currently, the cred app is the fourth most preferred UPI app. Which company had recently, August 23, signed an MOU with Brookfield Asset Management to manufacture renewable energy decarbonization equipment Australia, in Australia? Reliance Industry Limited. Which country has become the first country to world to ban thin plastic bags? And the answer is New Zealand. It has become the first country in the world to ban thin plastic bags and in New Zealand these plastic bags were used for fruits and vegetables in supermarkets. The government is expanding the campaign against single-use plastic which was launched in 2019. Which state government had recently in August launched LEAP Launch Empowered Accelerated Proposal Co-workers Membership Card and the answer is Kerala D. Which technology company has launched thread app? And the answer is here option B Meta, the parent company of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, newly developed thread app intended to rival Twitter. And this is all about the session, dear student. And I hope that you enjoyed the session a lot. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Make sure that if you are new in the channel, please subscribe the channel as well and do not forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all our Pratham Test Prep Mentor. Enjoy your weekend. We'll meet you on Monday and for the daily newspaper station analysis. So if you have any questions regarding this, please let me know in the comment section and uh, we'll meet you on Monday. Till then, bye-bye uh, and take care and thank you so much for joining with us. Thank you.